First, I want to thank Pure Flix and Dream Records for the opportunity to have my original song, Reconciled, be a part of the Samson Project. Uh, when I found out about the project and uh, started meditating on the story of Samson, uh, the theme and the notion of reconciliation um, really resonated with me. Um, and that's something I can identify with as far as Samson's story about, you know, falling short, um, turning your back on God, uh, maybe squandering the gifts that God has given you. Um, but I can testify to the fact that God will redeem you, he'll restore you, and he'll reconcile you. Um, and what a tremendous feeling to be reconciled, you know, when you think all is lost um, and that there's no hope, God takes you back. And just that whole theme of anguish and pain and loss um, followed by joy and love and relief um, is what I wanted to make sure was um, captured in the song from a lyrical content as well as um, from a vocal arrangement um, and even from an instrumentation standpoint. So as I put the, the skeleton of the song together, as I would say, I brought it to two great producers, uh, Melvin Maestro Lightford um, and Darius Mines. Uh, they're friends of mine and tremendous uh, producers. Um, and I kind of call them the dream team. And you know, the track that they put together um, went over and beyond what I could even think or imagine. So big shout out to them and grateful for their participation. Um, we knew we needed a very strong um, male lead vocalist that could emote the anguish and the pain and the frustration that Samson felt. Um, and we are blessed to know Joey Kibble of Take Six. Uh, we consider him a friend and a brother. We all attend the same church. And um, people know of Joey as a phenomenal vocalist and a multi-Grammy award winner. But one of the things that we love and appreciate about Joey the most is that He's so humble and so giving of his time and his talent. Uh, so when we asked Joey about um, participating on the song, uh, without hesitation, he said, I'm down, let's do it. And um, again, um, I just feel so blessed to have him be a part of it because the song, the final product just went beyond what I could even think about um, or imagine. And then finally, just must give a, a big thank you and shout out to my group Musitree. Um, been together for about eight years now, maybe a little bit more, and just started off as friends coming together um, who like to sing and minister, and whether it's studio sessions or going out in the community, singing for concerts, whatever it may be, they've always been um, willing to lend their gifts and their talents and uh, come together, and they did a phenomenal job on this song. So um, once again, a big thanks to everyone who's been a part of this, um, just totally blessed and honored for this opportunity and uh, my hope is that everyone who hears Reconciled will be pointed to our Lord and our Savior. I took an incredibly minimal approach when I got the record. Lyrics were already done. Keyboard parts were already, you know, structured in a place where it made sense and, you know, I just wanted to add to what was there as opposed to reinventing the wheel. We ended up adding a couple changes on just the bridge just to kind of enhance it a little bit more, but way more about the sonics and the feel was my job or what I felt like my job was and just keeping the song first let, knowing that the lyric would be the most important part just building things that would allow the vocalist to do what he needed to do and let the song go across the way it's supposed to with this song it, to me it was already a great song even just from the, the beginning of what Darius did um, with the writer Glenn Griffith did with just creating the the skeleton for it it, it was already in a good place then when we added the lead vocals background vocals and all the programming work and all that stuff i feel like sonically it was great it was good but it was just missing something to bring out the emotion yeah. of you know of samson and um i reached out to darius one morning just thinking like man what if it do you think we need like a string arrangement and he just he was like yes that's what it is. that's what we need that's what we need and so we went down that track that track of going and doing the um, putting a string arrangement on it and i feel like that was the best thing that we could have done for this song for me as an arranger i, I take a lot of um <laughs> ideas uh from hans zimmer I, I i absolutely love him with all the movies that he's done i feel that what we took from stuff that he's done and just in just string arrangements period allowed the song to to get to the level that we feel that 
was epic. From a vocal perspective, um, I had to the challenge of putting myself in the shoes of Samson uh, and then sing it. <laughs> I don't know if Samson sang, but I had to do that. And it's actually not hard to do at all because everybody has fallen from grace. Uh, so it's not a place that you don't know how to come from. All you have to do is identify uh, some point in your life uh, when you when you really screwed up um, and you are right there. And I'm able to channel everything that the emotions that I think he might be feeling uh, more so thinking that I can measure up to whatever it is that God has set and then failing that. But I think the power of this song, and I guess what really brought the juice out of me, is real, realizing that God already knows that you have fallen away. And what he's done to cover you because you've already fall, fallen away, that's all part of the plan. Now, I've always looked at Samson as, man, if he hadn't done this, if he hadn't done this, there's no way that you're going to avoid doing that, especially if you're doing it in your own power. But the fact is, he loved Samson so much that he had already planned for Samson's screw up. And then you have grace for when he screwed up. And it's like the grace was already there. Now we follow the story. So we're thinking, well, the grace just got added when he finally came to himself. But the grace was there long before it happened. And God knew that he was going to do that. But he still loved him so much that he gave him what he needed way before he asked. And that's what the verse says, before you call, I'll answer. While you're yet speaking, I'll hear. And that's God's heart. He wants to give you, he wants you to see that grace because the goodness of God leads to repentance. All this is in my head while I'm singing this song. And I was able to put myself right there because I know where I've come from and what kind of grace I've seen.